Breaking news. After more than 35 years of Boeing 737s, KLM is switching to the Airbus A320neo family. Controversial order, major change, a blow to Boeing, and a new chapter for KLM. Like, subscribe, and share. This video is sponsored by intuitive.me. More about this at the end of the video or click the link in the description. The Air France KLM Group and more specifically KLM itself and Transavia Netherlands have announced that they will be purchasing 100 of the A320neo family aircraft from Airbus with options for another 60. In a video earlier this week I already talked about the offer that Airbus had presented as a response to the tender of KLM and I elaborated on the different reasons why KLM would shift and especially why they would not shift. All the financial and practical reasons for not making the shift from Boeing to Airbus but ordering the 737 MAX series. Click the link in the description to hear more about everything that KLM could encounter if they would make the shift and why it was not so likely that they would do. But hey, here we are now. Airbus came with an offer that KLM could not refuse. One reason that I didn't discuss in the previous video and that played an important role here, I believe, is that Air France has been flying the A320 since the beginning of the A320 family. And having one type of aircraft across the whole group means better pricing when ordering. It means more efficiency when it comes to exchanging pilots, when it comes to maintenance, training of personnel, which includes the pilots, the flight attendants, and the ground crew. Another reason that I didn't discuss is the dissatisfaction of KLM with the quality of the Boeing aircraft nowadays. KLM has been repeatedly postponing deliveries of the 787-10 series as they have come across many issues, including finding all kind of garbage within fuel tanks. I've discussed this already some time ago. Even a whole ladder was found within the tail of one of the aircraft and all other kinds of issues with the 787 that we already know about. And there's a reason why deliveries of the aircraft in general have been really slow or even halted again. And then of course we have all the issues with the MAX having all these delays. So ordering the MAX would mean that KLM would have to continue flying their very aging fleet of 737 next generations for another five years at least, where clearly they got some early slots from Airbus as they have been able to agree on deliveries starting within less than two years in 2023. Yes, we are in 2021 now, but 2021 is basically over. So in a year and a little bit, they will already start to get the new aircraft. This doesn't mean that they will already be flying them from January or February 2022. I mean, flying them with passengers because they will need to start retraining the crew. The current situation, the crisis in the world, especially in the aviation industry, could have played a role here for the shift. As KLM is not utilizing all their staff at this moment, training is easy to do now because both the flight attendants and the, and the pilots can go into simulators now without affecting their schedules. And this is what healthy companies do in times of crisis. When business is slow, that is the time to invest in your personnel. That is the time to educate your people. That's the time to train your people. And this is clearly what KLM is doing. They're not just jumping on a beautiful order from Airbus because yes, Airbus will have given them a very nice price to make the shift, including most probably simulated time as well. But it's also about what is doable, not to affect your schedule, 
not to have a lack of personnel when it comes to buying your aircraft. At the same time, this is a major blow to Boeing because KLM has been flying the Boeing 737 since 1986, starting with the 737-300 at the time, somehow a few 200s, the 400 series, and then later on the next generation, the ones are flying now. And if you would look at Boeing and say, hey, but Boeing is not just Boeing, it was also McDonnell Douglas. Well, even before McDonnell Douglas, when it was just Douglas, KLM was already flying them. And I'm talking 1934, starting with the DC-2, later DC-3, DC-4, DC-5, 6, 6A, 6B, 7C, my favorite, the DC-8, 63, also called the Super DC-8, an amazing aircraft that I had the pleasure to fly twice with an amazing bumpy landing once. Everyone was scared and I just loved it, how the pilot dropped the aircraft with extremely high speed. And we jumped up and yeah, we had a few bumps before we really had grip. Then the DC-9 30s series, the DC, oh, before that, the DC-9 10 series from 1966 and from 1967, the DC-9-30 and 30C, and then those were replaced by the 737. So if you include Douglas, then KLM has been a very, very, very loyal customer to Boeing. And now the only Boeings left in their fleet are the 777s, 200 and 300 ER, the 787-9 and the 787-10s, and they still have a few of these on order. If I recollect correctly, 10 of them. Are on order and of course they have two or three 747s 400 freighters they did make the choice a few years back to only purchase the 787 where air france chose the a350 they had actually both of them on order and then in the end they shuffled things around and all the 787s went to klm and all the a350s went to air france because they both had ordered both brands but then they decided to keep it simple and have the KLM pilots only flying 787s and the Air France pilots only flying the A350. Looking at where we stand today, they may regret this decision, KLM, because of all the issues with the 787. Although the A350 also has some issues at the moment, but they're not as major and they're not leading to groundings. I'm not talking about Qatar Airways, which is just trying to get Airbus to pay for the damages of the pandemic. That's a totally other story because the paint, according to the European Safety Agency, is more of a cosmetic issue than a safety issue. Aside from that, it looks like KLM is making a shift. They already decided on ordering the Embraer 195E2 series to replace the current Embraer aircraft. This order had been placed last year, and I have a video about that too. You can find it in the description. And the question is, what will they do with the 787s? Will they keep them? Will they keep going on with the issues? Or will they say at a certain moment, okay, screw it. We're going to shift. We're going to dump them somewhere on the market, sell them to a leasing company or giving them back to the leasing company because I'm not sure actually KLM ordered, bought them, but is leasing them. So we will see. Little bonus. I thank you for your attention today. It looks like there will be more orders coming in that the market is finally picking up after almost two years of darkness and bad news and only shutdowns, cuts, bankruptcies, groundings. You will probably see more videos from me coming because I like to talk about the fun stuff. As I mentioned in the beginning, this video is being sponsored by intuitive.me. These aviation videos are my hobby. My main occupation is working with people who want to further develop themselves, to boost the quality of their lives, to overcome obstacles, to release blockages, to release trauma, and to grow, to find inner peace, to start enjoying life, to be more successful. If you want to know more about this, click the link in the description or just go to www.intuitive.me. If you dislike the video, you do this. If you liked it, thumbs up, share, 
and subscribe. Also, check out my Patreon page. There you can support me and get access to exclusive content. Get more. Check it out in the link below.